Alright, so it's been about a week since my edit has come out and I cannot thank you guys for all your positive words. That edit took me probably about a year and a half to two years of just going out every single day with the guys kind of filming. Doing YouTube videos, that's why some of these spots might look familiar because we'd go and I'd film like a little behind the scenes with the guys while we were there. We'd hit some random stuff, any clips that weren't like edit worthy clips I guess you could say we put in the YouTube videos. And it was kind of like the transition for me when like after the stuff we got in trouble with the property, like we started filming this stuff before we did the property um, a little bit and then we had the property and then it really picked up on filming once I got in trouble out of the property with the city and I had to go through all that BS and we kind of just like dove full into um, basically all the, you know, the stuff that we were doing with the, with the filming. So again, shout out to all my friends that motivated me like Trey, Dave, Marcel, Jabe. Uh, shout out to Lewis for freaking absolutely killing this edit. It was all his idea, every single clip in this video, with the way he put them together, the cuts, the edits, the, the Rocky clips, the music, everything was his idea. I had no saying that. He just asked me, what are you looking for in an edit? And I just said, yo, dude, I'll want to keep it light and fun and something a little interesting, maybe a little bit different than what a lot of other people um, do in their edits. And I mean, I don't think it's like crazy different, obviously. It just feels like more of like an older edit where it's like, you do like some riding and there's some random bullshit in there and it was just like a lot of fun. So I guess just like not keep talking and get right into it. We'll start it off kind of talk about it. It's Bros and Shadow. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for always keeping me rolling. Like look at this. It's just, I don't know. Just something about this just gets me like, like it's just entertaining to me. I don't know. Lewis killed it. This spot right here was wild. Like obviously it's like all just crusty like concrete stuff that we found some people in our friend group have helped build that spot and again like what i was saying like with the property which was suck what we basically battled in florida for a long time was you would do some work at a diy and i mean they do diys all around the country everyone knows what diy is and it's like you build the stuff but technically you're building on like an old foundation um like an abandoned property or something like that and then whenever they come back to do that property they just basically knock everything down which obviously they have that right to do that but why we got the property was because we want to do diy stuff that would never get torn down and then well unfortunately even when you own your own piece of land and your own piece of property in florida you i mean i think i think florida is our best bet of making it work and it still didn't work so Kind of sucks, but you know, this is a perfect example. A bunch of dudes just out in a random spot, just having fun, riding just some absolute crusty garbage. And that was my favorite thing to do for sure. And I kind of miss that aspect. Like ever since moving to Atlanta, like I miss kind of just going out and riding some of that stuff. Um, you know, once I get some more stuff figured out here and some more stuff picking up a little bit, I'm hoping to be able to travel around more back to Florida, around other areas and kind of continue this, you know, and just do it for really for fun, really. My hair was green, dude. That clip's old. That clip's really old. But look at these little edits. This clip's pretty old, too. There's like two old clips in this video. Okay, so the story behind this one was Dom was actually busy in Florida. I think we were still filming. Obviously, if I had green hair, I was still filming Scotty videos at the time. We had finished filming a Scotty video, and then me, Dom, Trey, Jabe, I don't know if Marcel was even like kind of lingering around yet. Maybe Dave was there, I think, I don't know. We went to this spot and it was like a perfect long rail. We brought Dom there because he's visiting Florida and it's like he loves a long flat rail. Like this spot's perfect for him. And then I like joking around was like, oh, maybe I'll do like a feeble tire to whip on it. And like, I suck at tire rides and everyone in my friend group knows I suck at tire rides. So when I said that, I think everyone was like, well, I mean, I even was like, I don't know, this is kind of a high, high call out here, but I did a feeble on it, and I'm like, okay, I can feeble it, and then I'm like, I'm just scared to hop into the tires, because it's just like, I suck so bad, and I've ate it so many times. I mean, anyone who's followed since the beginning days of Scotty stuff, that's where the spinal originated, was me doing a double tire ride on a foot tall rail, looping out, going straight to my back on the rail, and that's where we got the whole spinal turn. So I was scared to do this. The second I hopped into that tire ride, I kicked the whip off the end, and I got it, thank you. God first try because I did not want to try to do that again. But that's why Trey was so shocked in this clip. He was just like, there's no way. I didn't I couldn't believe it. I was like, how the hell did that just happen? Just like the editing in this is so good. And this spot was crazy. Like this is like, we were actually looking for a spot for Marcel. We stumbled upon this and I was like, yo, I wonder if I could gap off this over that on the other roof. I'm not a roof guy at all. 
Trey motivated me to do it. He's like, dude, you got it. And that kind of kicked off a lot for this video. That sucked. My butthole spread real far apart on that one in that, in that like crusty hole. But like, I was so stoked on this because I was not a roof drop guy ever. I didn't really think that like I could do roof drops. I, I don't know why my thought, I think I was just scared to be honest with you. I just never did it. Um, just like didn't think I could handle really big impacts or like anything like that. Like that was a lower roof and that was why I was like one of the first ones I did. But Trey was the one who was like, yo, you should try this. And it kind of like kicked off this thing for me where I was like, oh, I like roof drops. This is cool. And like in this edit, there's a few roof drops and it was all because of like doing this one. I'm like, I kind of didn't mind that at all. Like didn't hurt really. Um, and I felt good. I'm like, man, maybe, maybe I do like this stuff. I have no idea. But it, I'm glad I did this clip early on because I was excited to do more roof drops later on in this edit. Marcel and his hair, that's when it was started. This clip's embarrassing for sure, but like a little behind the scenes of that one. I know there's a lot of people that can do that, no problem. I totally get that. This edit wasn't like, listen, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna make an edit. It's gonna be stuff that's like a lot of people will probably do, but like, my goal of this edit was like, like tricks that I've always kind of wanted to do. And like I had some other tricks that I already knew that I wanted to do with some spots that Trey and the guys had showed me or some spots that maybe I had in mind. Um, but I never really did any technical riding. And I know like for and like the average street rider nowadays, a feeble man you bar would be so easy. That trick took me so damn long. And it was just because I've always wanted to do one, but like the top of it had these grooves in it. And I suck so bad at manuals. Every time I'd hit a groove, it would just completely screw me up. So I probably tried that clip for like 60 tries. And it was Florida summer and I was dying and I hated every minute of it, but I felt so damn accomplished when I landed that silly trick at the end. And I'm like, I can't believe I just tried that for so long on such a silly trick, but it was worth it. 100% worth it. And I know before anyone says anything, it was kind of a weak clip, I'm well aware. This whole day was ridiculous. This whole day was insane. So. I, again, I keep pausing it, but this is a behind the scenes video. This was one of the funniest days I had out filming. It was me, Trey, and Marcel. And I wanted to try this trick in particular at this spot for a long time because I felt like it was a perfect spot. I'd never done this like little bit of a combo together, but we were riding and right before I looped out on this manual, this kid, it was graduation at UCF. So there's hundreds of people walking by to get to wherever the hell they had to graduate. They parked over here, had to walk by us to go graduate over here. So it was just floods of people. So I'm like waiting to go because I don't, I'm nice. I don't want to cut anybody off. I feel bad. Waiting to go. And finally this kid goes, hey, big boy. And I'm just like, huh? What's up, dude? And he's like, hey, uh, I think you went on a date with my cousin. And I was just like, what's your cousin's name? Not going to say the name of the video. Uh, but then he was like, I was like, oh, yeah, I did. I, at one point in time, I did go on a date with her. It was one date. I probably embarrassed myself on that date, which is probably why I was even more embarrassed when that kid said that. And then right after he said that, I went and looped out on a manual in front of him. So Trey was dying. I was dying. I'm like, dude, this doesn't get any more embarrassing than right now. But it was freaking hilarious, man. I was just like, how, what are the odds of that? Right in the spot, this kid's like, yo, you dated my, you went on a date with my cousin. And then I loop out on in front of that kid. Like, I was like, it was insane. And you just see like the whole thing. Like, Dudes are playing volleyball. That's the hairiest man I've ever seen in my life. I was just loving it. But this trick is something I want to do for so long. Just a freaking manual to tail whip, man. And it took me forever to kick that whip. But the first one that started to come around, I just found the pedals and I was hyped on this one. Super hyped. This is a fun day. Again, I think it was Dave, me, Trey, and Marcel. And like, I think Trey did some, I don't know. I Maybe you just got like an Instagram clip on that. But that was, again, not a crazy clip, but I threaded the needle behind it. This clip was kind of just like a clip that I thought about a while back. That spot was crazy. So me and Dave, Dave found that spot and he would tell me about it. And I don't really have great wall ride tricks. I'm like, what can I do off of it? And he was like, maybe do like wall ride on it over the pillar. And I did the wall ride over the pillar and it was like easy. So I'm like, well, the first couple suck. I like slid out. But then I did the wall ride and it felt easy and I'm like, well, that's, that's lame. I gotta do something else if you like. I feel like that's not enough. And like, Dave's like, no, it looks pretty good with the fish eye. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, I wonder if I go 180 out of it. And like, I did like one where I kind of got like 
90 and I want to say I got a flat and then I fixed it. I can't really remember, but then I did a couple more tries and one I just yanked off and it worked and I I was riding a cassette at that time. So it made things a lot harder for me. Um, I love a cassette. I think I might go back to one, but I ended up doing it. And then after I did the 180, I will say I did get a shot, uh, a couple shots at a wall ride three and that, that was a no go. That one was not working. 180 is where we maxed it out. This clip was so much fun to film. Again, like a technical clip, not really my forte, uh, but it was, Trey had found this spot, and I think maybe Trey and Dave maybe found a spot. I, I can't remember exactly who found a spot, but it was like all these pipes, and it was super cool. And I remember one of the tries, Trey was filming from behind, and the he was falling behind the camera, like blew into the back of my tire. And so we ended up filming two angles of it, which is cool anyway. So you got that lead angle to the end angle, but it just was so weird for me at first to do hop, 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 and then a whip. Cause like every time I do it, I'd wait too long to hop. And by the time I got to the end of that last one, I would have no pop to kick the whip. And finally after one of them, it just clicked and it worked. And I was like, okay, sweet. It was a fun day again, just going out riding with everybody. We filmed some video clips on that. Man, Lewis killed on the editing. This spot was something that I had talked about forever, man. This is like the fisheye honestly kind of makes it look bigger, but it, I mean it it's not small. It's it, it's it, no, it's pretty small. But like if you look at my back tire, it's hard to tell because the fisheye. But like my back tire was probably about three quarters of the height of this thing. So you realistically think about it it's not much taller than where like knee height. And I'm like, I think I told Marcel, we went there one day to go find some other spots around there for him. It was just me and Marcel. And I'm like, yo, I think I could flare this. And we were both like, uh, maybe, maybe I was like, but it just sucks you, to try something on a flare like this. If you don't get the rotation, you're just landing flat on your hip. And that is the worst feeling in the world. So I did one and it like came around and I was like, holy crap, but I couldn't land and keep my momentum going. And then finally one just stuck and it worked out great. Like that was a clip I was super hyped on. Love myself a good pull up. This is at Full Sail actually, which is funny because uh, my girlfriend went to Full Sail and I remember we would had started talking and I sent her a clip and she's like, is that my school? And I'm like, huh, yeah, it is. Pretty, pretty funny how all that worked out. Stupid fact, just ironic. This spot was insane. Like, my like I have a, I have the whole story about this one too. That was the uh, probably the second roof drop, probably the second biggest roof drop I've ever done, and it was technically in the grass. Sue me, but then like they hit the gravel and I almost ate it. But I didn't want to go back on that roof again. And like the story with this roof was, Trey found this spot. Trey knew this spot. The original intention was to go there and flare it. But then when I got there, I realized if I wanted to flare that roof, you would have had to gone so high up it, like almost, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, I'm sure someone could do it, but I could not figure out a way to crank around it, like around that way fast enough on the shingles and like be able to pop up enough to do a flare. And then I contemplated just trying the flare on the mellow part, and I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna rotate this around. I need like something to kick me. So then we kind of, you know, Trey came with the idea of why don't you whip on it and then ride off. And I was like, all right, I guess. But I was more stressed about the stupid ride off than anything, any suggestion that someone said on top of the roof. I almost didn't do anything because I was so nervous about this drop. And when I did it, I was like, dang, all right, cool. Like, again, the grass probably made it a bit easier. But once I got to this gravel, I was so, like, you could see me death gripping when I do this. that I'm just like, oh, man, do not let go of this at all. This clip was a battle, man. This thing sucks so bad. This took me so many goes. This took me like three different days of coming back and forth to here. And every time I'd do it, I would land on my hip. And finally, Jade came back with me with Marcel one day. And I got it. A little sketchy, I know. I had a little hop. But they, that was hard. Easily favorite spot of the entire video was this spot. This roof... Funny story, took us so damn long to find and we almost gave up finding it. We went to a whole separate area because we saw similar roofs and we didn't know exactly where the spot was 
in that we thought we found it and we're like, no, that's not it. And like Trey knew what the buildings look like and he's like, no, this isn't it. Like I'm telling you it's not it. I'm like, well, I think I could probably do it here. And he's like, no, we got to find the setup because it is the setup. It's like the one you need. And I'm so glad that he did because it was just a perfect setup. Switch flare, hadn't done one of those in probably a year, year and a half. So that was difficult in itself to like do the switch flare and come down and have enough speed. Like the first five or six of them, I landed super sketchy and it just would look weird if I did it. And then that finally that one, I landed and I'm like, please, please land this tail up right now. And then after I landed the tail up, I was like, please land this roof drop. And this is like probably the biggest roof drop I've ever done. And the impact on this one, I will say, I, I felt it. That one sucked. That's why I was so happy at the end right here. I was just like, there's no way. A little bit more, a little bit of an overreaction for sure, but I was just so happy, so I don't even care. And then this clip, man. This is the one that was just so. So exciting for me to do. Oh, man, that's. I, I have flashbacks from that clip. So it's like we were doing that that clip and I thought of when we went, the, so this is two different separate occasions. So that clip that you saw before this, that was one time. And then I remember we were in the area riding Stone Edge because we were getting some metal and some wood from them um, to get for Swamp Fest. And I would remember being like, dude, I got this idea. I've never done like a three flip or a 270 flip, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I was like, I, I feel like I could do it on that setup. And Trey didn't say anything other than being like super motivated and like I think you could too and I was like I've never done a 270 or three flip whatever you want to call it and I was like so nervous because like, I don't know what that rotation felt like and like in my head when I saw myself doing it with the flare that I normally do I pictured that I would do the flare and I would come out like this and just land splat on my side and I was like but I feel like if I do one and I just land splat it'll help me figure out the whole thing and we went there I wish I had some of the crash clips but we went there and it just worked like the first time. I just landed super low and I just couldn't hold on the bike. And then that's what kept happening. I would do the three or 270, whatever the hell you kind of call it. I would do the flip over the roof and I'd land and I just kept washing out, falling. But that, that clip right there, man, was super, super, super exciting for me. And like, I knew that this was gonna be my final clip. And I was like, how the hell do I do a clip that is like, somewhat similar to the last clip that I did, which was the fronty off of the roof. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'll do a flip on a roof this time. And I was like, I've never tried this trick before. I feel like this is a good time. And I'm so glad it worked out. Like watching it now, I'm like, I don't even know how I did that rotation. So hyped on that. Trey's reaction at the end, his famous like crazy reactions, I love it. But again, shout out to all my friends who helped me film this. Shout out to Lewis for editing it. It was such an awesome time making this video and I definitely have some plans for a new edit. There's so many spots here in Atlanta. Um, I've been talking to Jabe and Marcel, maybe get them to come down here for a trip and do some stuff. I got a ton of spots for Marcel here, like some crazy ones where I'm like, I would never do that, but I know Marcel could do it. So trying to plan that out at some point and hopefully that works out. Um, but again, shout out to everybody who has, you know, kind of watched the channel for so many years. And like, I know I did an edit not too long ago, well, actually, it was probably pretty long ago. It was probably two years ago now. And I'm just like, again, we worked on this. Just going out with your friends and filming and just like making something was so much fun. And this is kind of honestly the time period where I started slowing down on making the YouTube videos um, because I was kind of like in my head, knew that I kind of wanted to try to put full focus into an edit, do an edit. And then I realized that, you know, halfway through filming this edit, that I was probably going to be going to go to Atlanta and try to give this like stunt dream a shot. And I'm really glad that I did. But I also think that now it'd be cool to do something where it's like, get some another video going where you do some Florida clips and then some now Atlanta clips. And I have some ideas ready that I'm super excited about. But again, 
Thank you so much to everybody who's been watching for so long. Thank you for so much to everybody who gave me such great feedback on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I know it's not like the craziest edit in the world, but they're tricks that I really, really wanted to do and tricks that I was super happy and like proud to do. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of the behind the scenes and uh, yeah, have a good one. Oh yeah, I'm out.